Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create just a simple texture for the leaf and how to to make leaves. And we're also going to learn a little bit of how to make them look um, green like this one or more like autumn feeling like this one. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I'll get rid of that screen. I'm going to turn on a screencast so you can see a little bit more. And I'm also going to turn on uh, background images. Now we're not going to model the leaf. Like that sounds probably sounds like what what we're going to do. But rather, what we're going to do is we're going to use it as like a, a sizing guide, so that so that we know exactly what size of object we need. So I'm going to hit X on the cube and delete it. I'm going to hit Shift A and add mesh and a plane. And I'm just going to go into edit mode and make this big enough for I'm gonna go in, I'm actually gonna go into wireframe mode and then go in and make it just about the right size for the leaf and now the reason doing this is when we go into the UV editor to unwrap and texture this um, we can texture this and it will match up perfectly here it won't look squashed it won't look um, tall, whatever it may be, but it will look just fine. And so I'm going to hit A. I'm going to um, I'm going to create a couple more windows. Um, and I did that on purpose. There's two windows I just made. This one actually I'm going to change to Node Editor, and this one's going to be UV Image Editor. And in the UV Image Editor, open up the 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 picture that I will put in the link, and then you can see over here, go back over here and hit UV unwrap. So just hit the U on the keyboard and unwrap. Um, actually, sorry, my bad. Project from uh, view bounds. And so now this will create um, the image and we can just match it up like we did over on the other side. And now if we were to go into a material or. To, oh, yeah, I forgot. We've got to add the material. And hit search uh, image texture. Connect the image and open up the leaf again. And you can see it looks a little bit, actually, looks kind of funky. Oh, let's go into the rendered view. So you can see how we have in this image, we have a, pretty much just an alpha background. There's nothing there, it's just completely transparent. And so it's turned black because it doesn't quite know what to do with it just yet. So that's the next part of what we're going to do. We're going to hit add search and do another image texture and I've I've incorporated another image um, f or actually this is going to be for another part of this but um, we have this right here. We have the alpha. completely forgot about this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift A and do a transparency BSDF um, and then we're gonna hit a uh, mix shader and we're just gonna connect the dots now when we do this if we pull the alpha because in an alpha there's just a black and white that's pretty much the way it works or it's like a variation between the two it could be gray but if we plug this into the, the factor it'll tell it um, what parts are supposed to be transparent which are supposed to be diffuse or in this instance, instance the image and uh, you can see it's opposite well there's actually a really easy fix we're going to hit shift A and search for invert and then just plug it in there and you can play with that too but we just want it to be completely inverted and we have voila we have a leaf already that was really easy and so um, that's pretty much how you make a leaf in blender uh, the rest of this tutorial is going to be on how to make it a little bit more realistic because it just looks kind of like a, a little bit more like a paper. Um, not that it makes a huge difference what we're about to do, but it will create a little bit more uh, depth to it. So I've included a few more images in with this that I've created um, a normal map, a specular, and like I think a glossy is what, or not a uh, glossy, those are the same thing. Let me pull it open. Um, 
I have a displacement, a normal, and a specular map. And so those we will um, put on real quick. So let's go ahead and let's add the displacement map. And now we can just drag this color over into the displacement. And you see it already did a little bit to our render. It added a little bit more depth. Not much. Now I hit Shift A and search for image again. And if you want to, I think you can actually just Shift D, duplicate these. Um, but that's okay. And then we're going to open up the other one. And this one we're going to have to be the normal. And then I'm going to duplicate it real quick and make this one uh, specular. So the normal, we need to add another thing and we need to add a normal map. Uh, connect the color and we want to bring it all the way over to this diffuse. If you can see here there's a normal and we want to drag it up into the diffuse. Let me make this bigger so you can actually probably see what I'm actually doing. Um, let me organize this a little bit. So you can see we have created this is the normal right here. This is the normal uh, picture the one that's actually if you were to look at the picture I think it's mostly like blue um, when we put this in here it tells the it tells blender how much depth is a little bit more into it which the normals are and so we also want to include the UV map on there as well and so so far everything's working as planned there's one more thing that we want to do and we want to add a glossy uh, uh, shader and we also want to add another mix and we're going to plug the mix in here and we're going to plug the glossy into here and we are going to put the glossy image texture into the the factor up here and so the glossy image texture um, that I've also created from the original image but I also had to erase some of it so that there's more transparency but other than that, it's just the normal, it's the same picture, but it tells, it's black and white, and it tells Blender, or it tells this mix shader, um, what should go to uh, this part of our texture or our material, and what should go to this part, which is just glossy. So you can also even plug in this here, it wouldn't necessarily hurt anything. And I'm just going to decrease the roughness to give it a little bit more shine and I think we're probably pretty good now if you were to look at your leaf this is probably using a plane this is probably one of the most realistic ways that you're going to be able to get uh, a leaf texture and there's even it even has shadows and everything if you were to put a plane underneath it um, and and go into the world and make it a little bit brighter. Oh, actually, that won't work exactly. Um, I'm just going to get rid of a lot of those things. If we were to go in here and Oh, I think I know what I did on accident. I accidentally put that inside of the textured object. So now, now if we were to do it, oops, I just duplicated the leaf. Shift add mesh plane. There we go. And put uh, a plane underneath it. It even adds the texture or the shadow the way it should in the object of the leaf. And so I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put more comments in the, you can ask in the comments. And yeah, go ahead and try and make this leaf. And then also, in addition to it, you can see here, I'm going to add in a new tutorial, I'm going to show a little bit of how to um, change the colors on this. And so. Thank you so much. Click on the new tutorial down here, and we'll see you next time.